story today. I hope you're all great. So today, our, su our subject will be reading. But before we start, let us have our opening prayer. Let's put our hands together, close your eyes, and feel the presence of our Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for all the blessings that you've given to us. May you protect our families. May you protect our students, parents, and all the faculty staffs. May you continue to bless our school, O oh God, so that we can continue our mission to give the best quality education for our students. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So once again, kids, good morning. Our topic for today, it's all about the three branches of government. But before, but before that, let us have our keywords. So these keywords, we will encounter them in our passenger. So the first one that we have is constitution. What does constitution mean? It is a body of fundamental principles according to which a state is acknowledged to be governed. Next, we have separate. Separate means different, distinct. Next, we have branch. Branch is a division of a large organization operating locally or having a particular function. Next, we have executive. Executive, it is the branch that enforces the country's law. Next, we have legislative. Legislative means it is the branch that makes the country's law, while judicial, it is the branch that determines if laws have been broken. Next, we have carry out. Carry out is the branch that makes the country's law, while Senate, it is the upper house of Congress in the U.S. Next, we have House of Representatives. It is the lower house of Congress in the U.S., while role, it is the part played by the person or thing in a particular situation. Next, we have the last word, court. Court means is a tribunal presided over by a judge, judges, or a magistrate in civil and criminal cases. Now, kids, let us listen to the passage. Are you ready? Unit 10, the three branches of government. The Constitution is the highest law of the USA. It divides the government into three separate branches. They are the executive, legislative, and judicial branches. Each branch has different duties and responsibilities. The head of the executive branch is the president. The president enforces the country's laws. The president cannot do this alone. So many people work for him. The FBI, CIA, and Department of Defense are all part of the executive branch. Together, they carry out the nation's laws. The legislative branch is Congress. Congress is divided into two houses. The upper house is the Senate, and the lower house is the House of Representatives.
Congress's role is to make the country's laws. The judicial branch is the court system. The Supreme Court is the nation's highest court. But there are many lower courts all throughout the country. These courts determine if people have broken the law or not. Now, for you to understand more the passage, let us read our passage. So, the Constitution is the highest law of the USA. It divides the government into three separate branches. So, let's talk about them. They are the executive, legislative, and judicial government. Each branch has different duties and responsibilities. The head of executive branch is the president. The president enforces the country's laws. The president cannot do this alone, so many people work for him. The FBI stands for Federal Bureau of Investigation. The next one we have CIA and Department of Defenses are all part of the executive branch Together, they carry out the nation law. That means to say, kids, our president is the one who manage our country. Next, we have the legislative branch is Congress. Congress is divided into two houses. The upper house is the Senate and the lower house is the House of Representatives. Congress... Congress' role is to make the country's law. The judicial is the court system. The Supreme Court is the nation's high court. But there are many lower courts all throughout the country. These courts determine if people have broken the law or not. Now, for, we to, for you to understand more, let us answer our book. Here's the first question. What is the passage mainly about? A. The two houses of Congress. B. The three branches of government or letter C. The FBI, CIA, and Department of Defense. So the answer is letter B. The three branches of government. Next question. The Supreme Court is a part of the blank. A. Executive branch. B. Judicial branch. Or C. Legislative branch. The answer is letter B. Judicial branch. Next. Who is the head of the executive branch? A. The president. B. The senate. Or letter C, the House of Representatives. The answer is letter A, the President. Next, what does divides mean? A, splits. B, chooses. Or letter C, determines. The answer is letter A, splits. Now, let us answer question number five. Complete the sentences. In letter A, the highest law in the USA is the blank. The answer is Constitution. Under letter B, the blank branch carries out the nation's law. The answer is Executive. And then letter C, the blank system makes up the judicial branch. The answer is Court. Now, in question number six, let us complete the outline. Under executive branch is led by the blank. 
it is the president. Next, includes the FBI, CIA, and blank. The answer is Department of Defense. Under legislative, blank equals House of Representatives. The answer is lower house. Now under judicial, blank equals the highest court in nation. The answer is Supreme Court. Next, determines if people have blank the law or not. The answer is broken. Now let us answer the vocabulary builder part. Here's the first question. The branch that enforces the country's law is called executive branch. Next, the upper house of Congress in the U.S. is called Senate. Next, we have the lower house of Congress in the U.S. is called House of Representatives. And then for the last one, the branch that determine if laws have been broken, the answer is judicial. Did you understand our lesson, kids? So here's your assignment in reading workbook. Page, answer page 12, letter A only. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Goodbye, kids.